Let me uh, say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. That was Kid Rock one year and two days ago shooting at cans of Bud Light with an automatic rifle to show his disgust that the company had sent a trans social media influencer named Dylan Mulvaney some promotional material for an Instagram ad. The entire conservative world went like haywire after that. But Kid Rock really led the charge in calling for a boycott of Bud Light. Again, that was literally almost exactly a year ago. And then this was Kid Rock last night on Fox. Now I see you're wearing a, is that a Budweiser hat? Like, wasn't it, it was a year ago, right, that you famously posted that video of, uh, I think you were shooting some uh, Bud Light cans um, after the Dylan Mulvaney controversy. So you've lightened up on Bud Light? This is a cool hat. I don't know. Um... Man, that is just, man, we got, <clears throat> we got, I didn't know what hat I was wearing. I didn't know what hat I was wearing. It's a cool hat. Now, none of the performed outrage here was ever actually about Bud Light. Despite calling for a boycott, the bar Kid Rock owned still served Bud Light. Kid Rock himself was caught drinking Bud Light just months after shooting cases of it with an assault rifle. All of this outrage theater around Dylan Mulvaney and Bud Light was just that, theater. It was about how politically potent rage itself is, but it actually did real damage. Dylan Mulvaney has been stalked. She has gotten death threats and she has gotten bomb threats. Her entire life has been turned upside down. Multiple Anheuser-Busch facilities, the maker of Bud Light, received bomb threats. But for Kid Rock and conservative politicians and Fox News, that part didn't really matter. They ginned up outrage from the base, and then they moved on to their next target. Rinse and repeat. I didn't know what hat I was wearing. We got bigger targets. I mean, when you look at what, uh, what who just Planet Fitness? Like, what are they doing? Like, Kid Rock's new target is apparently Planet Fitness. The gym chain is facing backlash right now after the social media influencer account Libs of TikTok riled up conservatives about the gym's trans-inclusive restroom policies. And now, Planet Fitness locations across the country are getting bomb threats. Does this mean that Kid Rock will never again visit another Planet Fitness? Who can know? Maybe he worked out there this morning. I have no idea. The facts here are not the point. The outrage is the point. Earlier this week, Donald Trump did his own version of this. In a speech to supporters in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Trump told the crowd that he had spoken to the family of a woman named Ruby Garcia, who was allegedly killed by an immigrant last month. The family, though, says that never happened. Trump also told a horror story in that speech about how three immigrants had, in his words, been soliciting sex from children. Turns out that story was also not true. Right now, the RNC has a website called BidenBloodbath.com that lists crimes by immigrants against U.S. citizens. And nowhere on the website does it mention that immigrants are statistically significantly less likely to commit crimes than native-born citizens. But hey, if it is useful and it is a great bit of outrage theater, what does the truth really matter? Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it. 